Okay, we're going to tie a fly. I've been uh, tying a lot lately. It's another articulated pattern uh, like the Cheech Leech, but it's unweighted. I'm sure you could do a weighted version of this, and uh, it swims really, really well in the water. This version is going to be really kind of bassy. It's white and chartreuse. But anyway, uh, I'm tying it on a 2X long streamer hook, both front and back hook. This is an Allen S402 in size 4. Um, using UTC 70 thread in fluorescent white. So the the tail and the, the over body of this pattern is this Spirit River UV2 dose jailed rabbit in white chartreuse. So I don't know why but I always uh, take the back section and trim that to a point when I tie these. Um, the tail's not going to be too terribly long, maybe a shank length or, or less. So that's going to be my tie-in point. Moisten my fingers to get that out of the way. Now that I'm tied in, um, this fly is going to have schloppen for the hackle and the underbody instead of being chenille or something is going to be Arizona semi seal. So I have this uh, Spirit River UV2 um, chartreuse schloppen. Anyway, I've got a schloppen feather here. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just preen some of the fibers back. And where those little, uh, the tip separates from the, the rest of the hackle, um, that's where I'm going to tie it in. So I'm going to lay this on the hook and just tie it in right here. And instead of trimming it off, I'm just going to tie in that whole tip of the feather. Uh, to make the body, I'm going to make a dubbing loop of semi seal. Uh, there's a new color that John Romer's put out that I've been using. It's called Light Crowley Perch. Again, I'm using the, the fancy dubbing twister, the ball bearing makes it a lot faster to twist up these loops. Alright, I've got my loop done, twist it up. And at the front of this fly you want to leave a little bit of area to tie down the rabbit. Uh, sometimes that builds up a little bit of bulk. So I'm just going to cut this loop off Then I'm going to take my schloppen and run that through the dubbing. It doesn't matter which which way is facing which, it's all going to be just kind of brushed out. It will look really cool. Up here at the head I usually like to give it some wraps, one right next to the other to thicken it up a little bit. Then I'll tie that off. Okay, at this point I'm going to brush out some of that semi seal from underneath the schloppen so it'll come out and play all together. Alright, so I've got it brushed out. Take this rabbit strip, pull it over the top, and tie it down. Okay, now I'm going to build up a little bit of a head, and I've been sealing these with clear cure goo um, just because I, I want it to be a super durable fly. Okay, I'm going to take some hydro, build up a little bit of a head. bled some into that schloppen but that's all right. You see the UV fluorescence of that fly it really picks up light really well. Okay we'll tie in the front half now. Um, I'm using the same hook as I was before and 
If you want to do a weighted version of this fly, you could use some weighted barbell eyes. I've got the Clear Cure Goo, um, Clear Cure eyes that, that are the weightless dumbbell eyes. I'm just going to tie those in on top of this hook shank. Alright, so I've got the eyes in place. Just going to secure those with a little bit of hydro. Alright, now I've got the bead lawn. Um, this is just a nylon coated wire. You get the craft store. We've been using this to, to hook our articulated flies together and they hold up great. So you notice I, I leave quite a bit hanging off the front. That will help us when we're um, doubling it back over to make it durable. So I'm just going to go all the way to the back. Like the Cheech Leech, I'm going to go a little bit further down the bend than normal. And that will help the back half not hang on the front half as much. Alright, I've got two 6mm plastic beads. Um, if you got any shops in your area that cater to walleye fishermen, they'll have these. And then my favorite feature of this uh, Griffin Mongoose vise is the adjustable material clip. You can move it up and down. Um, and what I'm going to do is once I put this back half of the fly on, I'm going to stick it right in the material clip to keep it out of the way. But anyway, to attach that, I'm just going straight through the eye. Then I'm going to thread it back through these beads. Alright, so now you see I've got the back half tied in. I've got it attached securely in that material clip. And now I'm going to secure this bead lawn. So you're going to come up right behind the eyes and I'm going to fold these over and wrap them right back. Okay, the front half is going to be built just like the back half right up until I, I get to the eye. Okay, I've got a, the, the dubbing loop made. I'll spin that up, but when I wrap it forward I'm going to go up all the way in between the eyes. That's why I did quite a, a, long, quite a long loop for, for what we're doing here. Pretty messy so far, that's alright. Just bring that hackle through like last time. I take my, my thread back and I can go over the top of the eyes because the rabbit's going to come over the whole fly. But I'm going to come back over the top of these eyes with my thread and I'm actually going to tie off that schloppen right behind those eyes. But the last couple turns of schloppen are going to be really thick. Sometimes you have to wiggle your thread back and forth to really get down in between those fibers to tie it down. All right, once that's tied down, I'm going to go back over the top of the eyes and take my thread to the front of the hook. Come back in here and brush out the simi. And then the, the very last thing I do is I'll, I'll tie in a little beard of material. So I'll take that same Crowley Perch um, color, kind of preen it a little bit, stack it up, and I'll tie on a, a little beard underneath this fella. Tie it in, fold it over itself. There we've got a little beard. All right, to finish the fly off, you just take that rabbit and you pull it over the whole thing down in between those eyes. Again, I'll build up a little bit of a head and I'll coat it with clear cure goo.